all do whatever the hell we want. Right. It's gonna be be difficult to probe around yeah. with all the security. If only we had a wizard that could cast invisibility or something. What do you say about that trip then? Huh? The detour. Hmm. Think old Rasty boys still got a uh, soft spots for us? Maybe. Hmm. I think no. he plans on seeing us again, right? He shrugs. I don't got any other plans. If that's what you want to do, I'll follow. So, uh, yeah. Let's go grab Raceland. And, uh, see if anything's changed back here. And, uh... Oh. Yeah, we'll come back and see if anything's changed. Sounds good to me. Let's go get our horses. Yeah, please. This old terror. I don't even recognize him anymore. <laughs> yeah. So you guys go to the stables. Um, the stable masters, I mean... <sighs> He did not, probably didn't ever expect you guys to come back. <laughs> He's just been... Not. No, I mean, they're still there. The The crown was paying for the stable. Mm -hmm. um, and, yeah. He's happy to, you know, reunite them with their former owners. And, uh, yeah. Both of your steeds seem happy to see you. Right. Especially Desmond's, who's quite rambunctious and you know, said, oh all right all right come on um but yeah so you guys have acquired your uh, old steeds and can awesome. do whatever you like with them now i have six horses of different sorts nice. one war horse one i don't know like is, your, is, your, pony. is your is just a mule or no, is it a it's pony like, yeah it's like a pony it's like okay. But we're using the stab, we're using the stab lock of a riding horse. I think that's correct. Yeah, yeah. And then um, it's like a Shetland pony, you know, with like the long hair. Yeah. Short legs. <laughs> a war horse, a riding pony, and four uh, draft horses. Wow. Okay. Got a caravan. Mm-hmm. So you guys make it back to Shog, which by now it's the afternoon after all that nonsense. And, uh, what's the plan? suppose you could travel today if you wanted, but it's going to be dark. Uh, uh, hmm. I don't know. Desmond, you, uh... Hmm. You got any military hookups to give me some armor on the cheap since I still don't have any uh yeah yeah I think we could do that it's just gonna be an issue of uh, sizing so probably gonna have to go with uh, something like a chain mail you know something we can pop out real quick right hmm. strip it down we ain't gonna have no full plate for a dwarf like you. Yeah. Or we could probably patch together some sort of uh, leather armor, maybe, or hide armor, maybe. We go to a tannery. I don't know. What do you want? What I want is more AC. Uh. But where's that? Uh. Unless you want to stick around for a while, maybe we can get something custom done, but, you know, that's up to you. Well, mm -hmm. Don't know how much time we want to waste on that. What can you wear? Can you wear medium or heavy? Uh, medium. Uh, could I wear heavy? Yeah, what the fuck? 
I would think as a paladin you could, but I don't remember if there yeah, was a penalty uh, for light, that. medium, and shields. Okay. So. Cool. Um, uh, is, is that why I went with the breastplate last time? Oh, I could have sworn that armor was in the 160s, is it 90s? What are you talking about? The armor. It's like a page or two um, before the... It's 145. Weapons. 145? Oh. Yeah. Could have sworn it was 160s. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, if you want to rock a breast, uh, like a breastplate, mm -hmm. you can get away with that, but only because it's just a breastplate. Like they can get their fuck, they can get their breastplate stretcher, and. Uh... <laughs> right. uh, you can be uh, uh, a dwarf with a human breastplate on. It's gonna be. I mean, they're gonna have to get like their biggest breastplate. You know, because you're a stocky motherfucking dwarf. Why? Well, um, yeah. You're a big, big guy. I mean, you're you know, you're a dwarf. You have fucking huge, rippling muscles. You have twenty strength. Um, so they they can get a breastplate for you. Uh, right. it's gonna be a little bit, a little bit weird. Like you know, it's just it's not quite fit for a dwarf, but you can make it work. Um, unless you actually get it, like fit to size but you know mm -hmm. it'll be fine it'll work um but there's no way you're gonna be able to get like half plate or something you know like that's those things are just yeah. too big the leg yeah. sizings and everything but a breastplate's fine i mean if you want to do that or you can do like a chain shirt that would be fine yeah I anything mean, with ta chain tactically that's useless tactically that is useless for me because it's only it's my it's 14 plus my dex mod, which is just one, so. Well, what's your AC without it? 15. Oh, well, yeah. So. Then if you, I mean, yeah, don't... Barbarians yeah. are, like, built to not really necessarily need armor, right? Yep, yep. So. Oh. Um, yeah. Cool. So, pass Sweet. on that. You're, Sweetness. You're not gonna get a breastplate? No. Be a waste of gold. They've already fetched the breastplate plate stretcher so they're like salty but wait your ac would have been 15 with the breastplate oh yeah okay gotcha uh all right um yeah so uh probably just uh chill the rest of the night and then head out tomorrow ned stark comes up and says how long do you think it will take them to know that there's no such thing as a breastplate stretcher <laughs> 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 They've been searching for like three hours in the back of the Smith <laughs> and then we just like walk out. We're like, ah, they don't really need it anyway. So I'm just gonna leave. Yeah. All right. So you guys are gonna spend another night in Shieldwall. Yeah. Okay. So we pull on to the tenth of Moon Harvest, um, and the day is yours. You're still in the Rich Quarter. Shog is probably starting to get really antsy. He spent like over you know a day and a half, almost two days, stuck in this stupid carriage. Fuck yeah! <laughs> really I don't even know if that's possible. Cool. I should almost be like making willpower saves for Shog. He's right. a bugbear. Like this is not. How about at nighttime? I kind of take a walk around the city. I just imagine like a a wild bugbear cooped up in this stupid thing has like an hour at most before he's like oh <laughs> <laughs> like two two days like has i don't he know been, has he been nesting in there has he been like tearing all all the nice upholstery and making no it's it, like, mine something? i'm at 
it's my stuff, so I'm probably taking better care of it than, <laughs> than usual. But yeah, I'm sure there's like tears and rips and you know, just not not really like what looks good for a human, but for a bugbear, it's nice yeah. and comfy. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying though. Making sure it's nice and comfy for yourself. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's probably pretty tore up. Hell yeah. Um, okay, so yeah, I mean, it's Shield Wall. Is there anything you guys want to do in Shield Wall or buy? People want to talk to. Uh, I say to Shark, hey, how about selling all those uh, clothes that you. I oh, I dumped that way lady. back when. Oh, why'd you dump it? You could have made a couple of gold off those, probably. Yeah. I didn't really feel like selling dresses. Yeah, what I was gonna, that, I was gonna give you weird. P values for it. fifteen each. <laughs> no thanks. Fifteen gold, not copper. Yeah, that is. Ex I mean, they're nice dresses. <laughs> yeah, but oh, yeah. god damn it, shock. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> it's cool. Uh, we'll just ride back and go get them now. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> nope. Sorry. Quest for the dress. Probably already gone. Some uh, yeah. some fucking poor ass guy along the side of the road said yes to the dress and took them all. Yeah, the new TLC show, yeah. Quest for the Dress. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shog the fas fashionista. All right. So Dog where do you guys want to go? And what do you want to do? Honey, Shog, Shog. The day is yours. Uh, uh so let's head out of town and head back to Solstice Grotto. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. As soon as uh they leave we get out of town, Shog is gonna um walk out of the you know, within reason he's gonna walk out of the carriage. Okay. Start, as soon as he sees nobody like around. So like an hour or two out of the capital in the farmlands and stuff, you get out and start stretching your legs. Your long limbs. Ugh. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just like stretching and just like running around and like trying to get rid of all this energy that I have. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then uh, while we're uh, doing that, actually, I'm grabbing my bow and I'm going to go out and hunt. Like immediately, I'm just like, as soon as we get enough, we're like, oh, and I just start <laughs> running off and oh looking God. for some game. Uh huh. But we're still traveling. I'm, I mean, I'm just sticking, yeah. like, I'm out in the, I'm watching the carriage. Okay, so you're, like, trying to go through, like, patches of forest and stuff? Yeah. Trying to find Small something. Small game or whatever there is. Mm -hmm. Trying to snipe, snipe birds and stuff. Snipe birds? You're yeah. only to eat, eat, like, a little chickadee or some shit? Eh, uh, maybe, like, a, a crow or something. Something big. Uh-huh. Bigger. Okay. Well, give me a survival a hawk check. Or a falcon, maybe. Shit, I think it's survival check with advantage, isn't it? Because you have. Was that correct? Because you're like a an outlander or something. Wanderer. I mean, you I can remember. find food and fresh water for yourself and up to five other people each day. Right, the land offers very small game water and so forth. Yeah, um, advantage because they have like. Advantage. He had it, advantage because he had, like, two different things. Yeah, but didn't it just say specifically you can just find them? It said it is yeah, long as I mean, it's small just game automatic. and shit. Yeah. So I don't even know. Like, for small game, you can just find shit. If you're trying to, like, hunt down a deer, you're rolling survival check. So you're just trying to get, like, birds and whatever. Like a yeah. muskrat. Yeah, like, maybe some... Maybe some small birds. All right, you find a weasel. I mean... Pfft. What, like, do you want to, you can just get it. You just want the weasel, or do you want something larger? I get the weasel, and I'm not satisfied, so I go for something larger. Okay. Well, I don't remember if that advantage was actually something we're supposed to do or not. Uh, I don't remember why that would be. Look at your character sheet. And wander... I mean, it just says you can find small game and stuff. Eh. 
Fairly certain they had. He got advantage because he had like two different perks. Yeah, I mean, if you can point me to those, I'm happy to. I just don't remember what they were. It's like some Xanathar shit, dude. For bugbears? I don't know. I don't uh, know if it's bug for bugbears specifically or what. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter because according to Wanderer rules as written, you guys, you can just find enough small game and berries and shit to eat. Mm -hmm. So this is all just the rest of it is just Labor. for fun. I mean, if you want to hunt down a deer, I guess until I'm pointed otherwise, it's just a survival check. So you fail, okay, and don't find a deer or anything. Uh, but you do bring back like smaller muskrats and weasels and uh, birds, I guess, if you want, and like berries. That's fine. And like roots and whatever other kind of crap. Uh, I mean, you're going through like farmland, so yeah. I mean, you can like. If you want, you can steal some of the crops. Yes, yeah, I'll like grab a couple of heads of lettuce and mm -hmm. some carrots and you know some potatoes. Some of this stuff is probably not ripened yet. I don't really know, but sure, I'm sure you can make it work. Yeah, and then I kind of go look around the forest, obviously, and. Kind of grab like a platter of different types of berries and mm -hmm. fruits and. So long as you whatnot. say you do this every day along the road, the party doesn't need to eat rations. Yeah, so I'll start doing that. Cool. Sweetness. So that you come back with food as they're, I guess, probably as they're traveling because you're so bored, and then you keep, you know, catch up. And yep. uh, you guys eat. Uh, I guess, I don't know. Do you prepare the food, or are you just like, yeah, we got, like, raw potato and... No, I'm, I'm preparing all of it. Okay. I'm using, I'm, like, kind of generating that Give me a grub skill, grub skill check with advantage, since you're a, a chef and all that good shit. Alright. Sweet. You pass a medium check. It's a decent meal. Like they would know. Hmm, exactly. <laughs> But it's sustenance. Good for me. Yeah, it's decent for me. Yeah, you, I mean, it's a good meal. You're happy with it. You're satisfied. You're, I mean, maybe, maybe if it doesn't pass a hard check, Shog is like, could be better. But yeah. for anyone else, it's like, it's pretty good. Yeah, if it's a 20 or higher, he's very happy. But mm -hmm. if it's like a 19, he's like, oh, it's good. Use a little more salt. Yeah. Could use coriander. <laughs> I can just picture him with a little notebook, like writing down a new recipe. Shock need fine time. <laughs> Shock need time and parsley. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Uh, all right. You guys set up camp. Uh, today, no travelers again. Everybody is. Scared shitless by the constant earthquakes and the nightmarish sky overhead. No one knows what to think of it. And uh, you pull into Solstice. Once again. Mm -hmm. Is there anything you want to do? It's, you know, evening. Um, I wish I was Dorian so I could figure out if my fucking dad's dead or not, but I'm not, so... Hey, for all you know, oh, Dorian. For all you know, Dorian's in Shield Wall with Darren. You didn't ask. I wish, man. I'm not. I'm, not, I'm in a carriage. I'm a fucking bugbear in a carriage. Mm -hmm. I have no, I, no perception. I know. Um, yeah, I, we'll just stay here and leave town in the morning. Okay, you have no problem doing that. Find yourself a decent mm -hmm. inn. You guys are living the comfy lifestyle. Um, and. The next day is the 11th of Moon Harvest. If there's nothing we want to do or say in Solstice, we head on out. It's a bit of a longer day today. Um, if we want to make it to Grotto, once again, it's uh, con checks. Desmond fails. He's pretty damn tired by the end of the day. 
Orsic passes. Oh, Orsic fails. So Orsic and Desmond both are really fucking tired. Actually, I rolled natural one on fatigue gives you double fatigue. So you are... Oh, fuck, man. You're so tired. You really don't... Ugh. You're, like, tired of this travel and shit, you know? You've been on the road what feels like weeks. Weeks and weeks and weeks. And pushing yourself is just, like, too much. But you guys pull into Grotto. Um... Is there anything you want to do tonight, or are you happy to just go to the next morning? Uh, yeah, we can just go to the next morning. Twelfth, Desmond is no longer fatigued. Orsic still has one point of fatigue. And, uh, is there anything we want to do, or are we going to just travel on to Harrodale? Uh, yeah, we can just travel on to Har Har Harrodale. Um, I, uh... I just say, uh, you guys drag Terror along. I'm gonna sit in the carriage. Okay. Relax in here today. I mean, somebody has it. rope, right? You can just tie Terror up to, like, the back of the caravan or something, or whatever. Sure. That's what you want to do. It's not a big deal. Mm -hmm. Um, I think Desmond has been happy to be on his mount ever since he got it, mm -hmm. so... Uh, it's always been, well, shit, I guess your terror has had to have been like this most of travel so far, because Shog can't be like seen driving the carriage through the cities. Yeah. So, unless there's something else you want to tell me. Shit, that's right. I'm going to have to start using the, instead of starting, I'm going to have to like buy a cloak and like a yeah. mask or something. Totally. Um, so, I guess Orsic begrudgingly, you haven't been riding Terror. Um, if you have something to say about that, please let Shock know. I, but... I tell I tell Orsic uh, when I see kind of like the fact that he has a mount, I'm like, how about we put Terror at the front of the carriage? He can lead the draft horses. I don't know if it's a little likes to keep up with that, so. Still. No, no, no. Draft horses are slow. You'll be fastest. You'll be the fastest one of all. Sure <sighs> thing, sure thing Shag. We, we can try it. Very good idea. So you string up uh, Terror much like Rudolph? Yeah, in, he's our front. Rudolph. Okay. Yeah. Alright, there we go. Guess I should. I should get a cart. We'll have to do it later. You should also get a little Shetland pony. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Expecting too much of my tokens. Terror the race. Oh wait, the racing pony. <laughs> oh my god, oh, yeah. it was a very Terror good is like... pony. There's like here. Sure, if you want to, I was saying we were traveling in this direction. Oh, sorry, sorry, yeah. Um, cool. So, uh, pushing on to Harrowdale, do you bring up this idea of the cloak to Orsic? Yeah, uh, I tell him, if you're gonna want to ride terror, then I'm gonna need to hide myself better if I'm gonna have to drive my carriage. So, maybe we should get something to hide me. Like a cloak. Mm -hmm. I feel like, uh... It'd be pretty obvious you weren't human still. Uh, maybe when we go see Raceland, he can do something for you. Make you look like a human. Okay. I don't know how you're going to do that, but okay. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, it's magic, right? It's True poly. A magician? Mm. Yes. He's, uh... on his mage. And thusly, he was known as Shog the Bugbear Newt. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps. Shog the Newt. Put him in a jar. 
poke a couple holes in it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So it's uh, it's gonna be quite the journey from Grotto to Harrowdale. Um, after eight hours, you are not there, and uh, Orsic probably. I mean, you you have fatigue still. Do you do you want to push it? I mean, I'm riding in a fucking in the carriage, so. Yeah, I know, but like rules as written, we can do eight hours of travel. I mean, Otherwise, I you start rolling. I'm like, yeah. ro I'm like riding in this to relax. Yeah, it's not. I know, but it's. I mean, rules as written, eight hours of travel. I I'm mm -hmm. assuming that it's. Uh, it's also for like the horses and stuff. Right. right. So. It's up to you. If you want to keep going, I have people in the party who keep going roll con checks. And whenever we stop to eat, I'm going to try and feed my horses too. Yeah. Um Sure, whatever. I'll roll a con check. Go another hour. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, right. what the hell? Desmond also rolled a one, by the way. Um, so Desmond has two points of fatigue, and Orsic has three. I should probably look at what that three looks like. I think it's really bad. <laughs> That's why I'm riding in the carriage. So Dude, Orsic so is fatigued. probably the most miserable being in this entire world right now. It's yeah. funny because I have like the best fucking, the best ever kind. Of... Oh, no, I don't. It's only sixteen, I guess. Cool. Um, so all right, so just don't get in combat tonight. Uh, but yeah, so Desmond is dog tired after an hour of pushing beyond his own limits, and um, he says he is camping right, right here. I'm not going anywhere else. Gets off his animal, starts setting up his camp. You guys want to push on without him? You're at three fatigue. Say, uh, sure. We'll just we can just. We'll just chill here for the night. That's fine. Mm -hmm. cool. Make camp. Let's do it. All right. And Chug, you go out and hunt some game and stuff. Come back with food. Yeah. Cool. This region's pretty plentiful out here on the wilds. You know you're. You're kind of uh, heading towards a large forest, and as you head more towards the moss wood, you know, wildlife kind of expands. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, luckily you're not harried in the night. And the next day, Desmond's at one point of fatigue, and you are at two. Are there any farmlands? Uh, yeah. I mean, the outer colonies like this are mostly like farmer colonies, but... Um, you're not quite seeing any yet, so that means you're a ways out from Harrowdale. Okay, so no farmsteads. Well, actually, maybe you see, like, one here and there. You're getting there. Alright, I'm not gonna worry about it, but there is an idea coming. There's an idea brewing. Okay. Um, so you guys saddle up and head on out to Harrowdale. Let's see, it's been nine hours. Okay, so like another half an hour passes the travel, and yeah, you, like you see a cottage, right? Um, on lots of farmland. Right. Is there something you wanted to do, or do you want me to keep going? Well, just feeding these guys. Okay. Uh, Alright, and then... Uh, about another hour and a half, and you're to Harrowdale. Okay. And it's a small little village. Um, you've been here maybe once before. And yeah, I think it's not not too much interesting going on here. People definitely give you some looks. Nobody is leaving these outer colonies, especially with the weather. Mm -hmm. Um. Pretty rich carriage comes through. Man and his plate mail. A dwarf gets a lot of attention. You're definitely questioned by like some peasant militia. 
but you know, whatever. They know what a kernel looks like. You're not like troubled in any way. They're just curious what's going on, mm -hmm. asking you know what what's uh what you guys doing out here kind of thing. And mm -hmm. I don't know if you make up some bullshit excuse or if you're just like yeah, go and talk to a wizard in the forest. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I actually do say that sarcastically, so, you know. Hey, you're gonna go talk to a wizard in the forest. Oh. The moss wood, they say, is cursed. I would head in there if I was you. Yeah, well. Everything's cursed these days, isn't it? Look up in the sky. Yep. It's all Ain't cursed. Ain't that the truth. Where else are you gonna go? He shrugs. Um, so did you want to try and buy all that crap here, or do you want to keep going? Buy all that crap? I don't know. Shog said something about like a tunic or like a cloth oh. garb. Yeah, buy a couple, buy a couple of cloaks and uh, a mask. So you're gonna have to get Orsic or Desmond to do that. Yeah, uh, Orsic, Orsic, uh, sure. I want you to get me three, three cloaks, what, three cloaks with hoods. He wants a hijab. Black. black. Shog need black hijab. And I need a... <laughs> oh! Uh... Sure. Shog, Shog, Would there the... be like a Shog the Muslim? <laughs> Good. Man, I don't know. Like, what I what the hell is that man mask. coming in here for? Looking like that? <laughs> this religious stance. I need a leather mask, Gorsuch. <laughs> I need a leather mask, and I need just eye holes. And, uh, I mean, I knew what he was into weird shit, but <laughs> and and mouth hole. <laughs> At least poke a couple holes in there for her. She need breathe. I need five holes. <laughs> I need five holes. Sure, sure thing, Shag. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. We'll do that for you. Uh, okay. I'm gonna, yeah. Yeah, okay, so you to go it. to you go to like a tailor, and mm -hmm. you go to get exactly what? Uh, I tell them I want a leather mask, <laughs> head mask, with uh two eye holes and a mouth hole in it. Like a leather cap? Like that goes all the way over your face. Well, if you're looking for for leather, that's you know. Go head right. on over to the tanner. Well, this here is a a, a tailor shop. Right, right. Cloth. What kind well, of cloth you need? Um, like a full body cloak. Mhm. Mm so like a, you want like a mm, a cloak that opens from the front? Are you looking for like a, a bathrobe? Mm -hmm. Looking for like, just something you slip over your head? A cloak that fits over, you know, a hooded cloak fits over my whole body. And, uh, Do you want one that opens in the front? In the front? Yeah. Or... yeah. Okay. All right. So we, uh, he gets you some. It's just like a cloth cloak with a hood on it. Mm -hmm. uh, it looks more probably like a ranger's cloak or like a raincoat or something like that, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and opens up in the front. Uh, I guess it probably just... I don't think do they didn't have like zipper technology back then, right? It's probably like buttons or like or like some sort of yeah. It'd be probably it'd be like a clasp like a, up like here. A, yeah, like a loop. Like yeah, it'd be like a loop of string. Yeah. And like a uh, like another string with like a stick on it, essentially. Probably like, multiple ones of those if you want it to go all. Yeah, the way down, yeah. Right? So it'd be like this. Yeah, like a yeah. string, and you like put it in there, or you just mm -hmm. like you know, pull it out. Like okay. That. Yeah, it's something like that. Um, cool. Yeah, so. that's not a problem. I mean, it's it cheap enough that monthly expenses cover. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, um, uh, is that is that uh, is well, that it or well, you? I'm gonna need uh, three of 
those. Whoa. Yeah. Uh. Well, I don't have three that are exactly the same. That's that's um, fine. That's totally fine. I got a black one here. I got a brown one. Uh, that's a little bit different. Different kind of fabric. Mm -hmm. Uh, but pretty close. Okay. Um. Let's see what I can fish up here. And uh, you're you I mean, you gave him like your biggest cloak, please. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Bug bear, so. Uh, well, let's see here. Uh, you got a preference on a color? I mean, just like dark mm. colors or? Uh, yeah, just, just dark colors. That's fine. All right. Well, we got that black one there. We got that gray one. Uh, let me see over here. Oh. Well, I have this here kind of dark blue one, if that's fine. Sure. Yeah, dark blue. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. So, um... Is there anything else you want to buy from him? Um, Cloth here. Yeah, and uh, I would like to get some, uh, you know, like a cloth tunic for myself, and um, mm -hmm. um, you know, maybe a matching cloak that's um, more my size. So you're looking for, uh, mm -hmm. like traveler's clothes, something like that you can get out of your crappy clothes. Is that what you're looking for? Yeah. Or yeah. So Maybe, you know, like, nicer on traveler's clothes, but yeah. Well, there is, like, specifically fine clothing, which is something on its own. Right, right. If you want, like, nice clothes. You yeah, I mean, do I don't want, like, button-down shirts and stuff, but, like, you know, some some nice, I don't know. It's like, um, not fucking, Well, like, I'm, I'm assuming traveler's clothes Not, is, like, burlap is... travel. Not, yeah. Well, because, no, because co there's common clothes, which is probably, yeah. like, burlap and shit, yeah, like, yeah. common or clothing. Yeah. And there's traveler's clothes, which weigh more and cost more. So I'm assuming mm -hmm. it's higher level quality. Right. It's got, okay. like, straps and, and stuff like that. It's mm -hmm. probably nicer made. Um, mm -hmm. But then there's, like, fine clothing, which is a step up, and it's probably, like, regal attire and stuff, yeah. which is what yeah. you were wearing <laughs> before. Yeah. Um, I'll take, uh, yeah, just, like, nice traveler's clothes then. Just, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Okay, so if you want, you can get rid of your whatever it was, fine clothing, um, and you can change it to traveler's yeah. clothes. I, I try, I try on the traveler's clothes. Uh huh. Um, like, well, you know, I mean, he's gonna have to make it fit for you. Right. I mean, I think he probably. Uh, eh. He yeah, he's probably going into like the bulky children's section. Right, right. You know. I mean, but yeah, like when he like finds one that he thinks is gonna fit, I try it on. Mm-hmm. And uh you know. Yeah. If it fits fine, I just uh I fine just ish. I mean it's yeah. not dwarven made, so it's yeah, like yeah. his four XL ultra fat child section, which is, you know, made for Cartman. Yeah, yeah like it's made for larger adult uh, men mm -hmm. uh, you know like uh young adults um and mm -hmm. it fits but it's like yeah it's still not like dwarf made so it's not right it's not perfect but you can get away with it yep. no penalties anyway so i put it on and then i just like give him the money for it like without okay. i just like leave my other clothes where they were you just strip naked I just, and like, well you know i like yeah okay you know like Maybe i went he's... to a private yeah in a privacy yeah sure yeah, yeah there's like a, a side area where you can try and close. Yeah. Um, great. So you can add, you know, Travelers Clothes, four pounds. Mm -hmm. um, shog. I'm going to go with robes for your stuff, which are four pounds each. So you have three robes. So um, that's going to be 12 pounds worth of robes. Okay. Uh, and if you care to write it down separately, or if you want to add them individually, it was a black robe, a dark gray robe, and a dark blue one. Oh, okay. Very different colors. Black robe, gray robe, and what was it? Blue. Dark blue. One for different weather. Or moods. Very I'll call cool. them mood robes. I have mood ropes now. <laughs> I have mood ropes. 
My move ropes. Uh, My move ropes. Yeah, and then uh, I also went to a leather worker. Uh huh. And uh, just like bought like just a basic gimp mask. <laughs> yep. What? I don't think he sells gimp mask. But you know, uh, you, you know what I'm saying. You want that, uh, like a leather cap? He like doesn't a, understand what you mean right like away. Like a full-on leather mask, like <laughs> over, over the whole face, with what? two holes in it for your eyes and a hole for your mouth. He doesn't know. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Uh, well, so you want something to like cover the whole face? Yeah. I don't sell anything like that. I might be able to make you something. Mm. Could maybe piece something together. Mm -hmm. If you're feeling uh, creative. I mean, it doesn't have to be anything, you know, crazy. Uh... Yeah, well, if it ain't gonna be pretty, I could throw something together, uh, in a, you know, for the course of a couple hours, if I got measurements, just like put some leather together maybe mm -hmm. just uh lace it up right if that you're looking for now think, if you want I something real great. nice looking it's gonna take me some time mm. no you know just use whatever scraps you got i don't need to spend yeah. a whole lot of money on this all right sure sure uh you're gonna get like a, a patchwork uh leather gib mask <laughs> It's not going to look great. Right. It's really not. There's going to be like different shades of leather. Yeah, He's just going to grab yeah. like, like snip different pieces yeah. of random old leathers that he has and like throw them together to make a mask. Yep. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. I mean, for his time and like this weird random effort, he's going to probably ask for like 10 gold. I give it to it's him. Be, I give yeah, it it's going to be... It's like a very weird specialty thing, and he's doing it right now, postponing this other work. Right. Um, like, last minute, so... Yeah, totally. Cool. Uh, but yeah, he... Yeah, you totally get something like that. Uh, he doesn't ask any questions. Just, all right, well, I hope this is uh, good enough for you. It's, uh, you know, last minute work, but... Yeah. Uh, that's all right. Looks decent enough, I guess. Yep, yeah, it's... Uh... Just, uh, you know, I specify that I want it to be bigger than my head. I'm, you know, like... A, yeah, I assume that guy. you got the measurements. That's, yeah. like, what our four hours or so <laughs> is for. Yeah. It's, like, all this nonsense. Yeah. Okay. Uh, add a leather gimp mask to your character sheet, Shog. Okay. Uh, nice. I'll call it two pounds. Okay. God, this has been a really weird session of D and D, this by the has way. Been very strange. I love it. Our most awkward session by far in terms of like sexuality. <laughs> Gimp masks, like kind of rapey drug scene. <laughs> Guy Fieri getting like almost weirdly sexual with Shog. <laughs> Shog's just like. Very, a very strange character. Mm -hmm. <laughs> cool, man. Well, uh, you know, now, uh, unless you're forced to strip in the public square, I guess you got clothes to uh, cover yourself. Mm -hmm. Heck yeah. I could just go in my carriage. Right. Oh, boy. You really should have just, like, gotten a turban or something. <laughs> This fucking weird ass like black robed gimp mask guy comes riding into town. Oh my god. Uh, that's why like I totally didn't give a shit about what the gimp mask looks like. <laughs> Cause Orson's just like, well it's he just wanted like a leather mask that's got some holes in it. Alright, Shock. Uh do you wear it today? The rest of today? Yeah. Alright, which robe are you wearing? Uh, I'm feeling the black one. Mm -hmm. I figured as much. So you're wearing a black robe, hood up or down? 
Head up. Okay. Strapped all the way down, I'm assuming, or do you let your junk fly free? <laughs> I had everything behind under me. Except for your hands, which you have not specified you got gloves for. Um, but yes, uh, you have a uh, patchwork leather gimp mask on of sorts. And a hood over it with a black robe. And some extremely hairy knuckles to boot. Oh, yeah. And are we going to do anything else in Harrowdale or continue traveling? Yeah, we can roll out of town. Uh-huh. So we have about six hours worth of travel yet. And we push on. It's a boring day. You don't meet any other travelers along the road, and you do not get to Pebbleton. Um, I assume you guys just want to shake off the rest of your uh, fatigue as often as possible, so you kind of just camp here in the middle of the yes. road. Yes. Okay. Okay. Ooh, almost. No dice. Uh, it's a boring night. You set up camp, and we awaken on the 13th of Moon Harvest. Um, Shog probably goes out. We don't. We can kind of gloss over him going hunting. We don't need to waste any uh, mm -hmm. rations here. Okay. Comes back. You guys eat meager meals here and there, whatever he could find, and mm -hmm. kind of travel on. Um, it is. Uh, well, it's a quiet day, you know, along the road. Let's see here. We got about three more hours to Pebbleton. Um, and I am happy to take our last break here. Uh, yeah. And return and shut up the session. So I'll see you guys in a couple of minutes. Bye-bye. Right. Okay.
All right, we're back. So, you guys are, yeah, heading into Pebbleton. Um, I think you had about two hours or so worth of travel left. Um. Yeah. So you spend like two hours traveling today, on the 13th of Moon Harvest, and pull into a very... Almost, almost empty town, really. A village. Uh, it's already a smaller village, and um, it seems very sparsely populated. Uh, is there anything you actually want to do here? Was it, like, less populated than the last time we were here? Absolutely. Uh, and, yeah. Some of the... Some of the buildings and stuff look partially destroyed. Um, so, yeah, something happened here at some point in time. And, uh, yeah. You don't know, though. So. I'd like to go to a butcher. Okay. Um, I come. I ask Orsic to come with me. Okay. Sure. Orsic. Can please come with me to the butcher, and I need to get some vegetables. Sure. Uh, yeah. I'll use this as a good opportunity to ask where everyone went. Put on the dark blue robe. Okay. Um, sure, you guys can find some sort of butcher. He's like hacking at a leg of something, a steer or something. Hacking at a leg of something. Yep, you don't really know. It's a big animal. Mm -hmm. Uh, kind of like looks up Shog, up and down. Looks at Orsig. Can I help? Can I help you? I start talking to the mask. Yes, my good man. He has like a big cleaver in his hands, bloodied. I would like some cow breast, if that would be not too much to ask. <clears throat> you got coin? Oh yes, we do. Yep. All right. All right then. Uh, yeah, you can you can get a slab of meat. All right, just uh, you know, like a decent sized one, about like feeds into monthly expenses. Enough to feed about. Well, I'd say about like thirty servings. Okay. All right, yeah, that's quite a bit of meat. Uh, All right. Pay the man. I mean, it's going to weigh something. Like 30 servings, uh, like how much are you looking for? Like 30 pounds of meat? I guess we could do that way if you want. I mean, like how much yeah. of us, how much do you want how much meat do you want in a serving of food? Do you want 15 pounds of meat? It's just about a pound, pound probably. Probably be like 15 pounds. Well, I don't know how much how much shog eats? I mean, let's bugbears say, let's might say eat 15. a lot more meat. Yeah. Let's say 15 pounds of meat. Okay. Cool. Half a pound of serving. Sure. You can get 15 pounds of uh, cow meat. Mm -hmm. Bovine of some sort. Mm -hmm. Doesn't ask any questions, just hacks it up for you. And uh, I mean, there, there's no Ziploc bags, so I guess he just like has it on a table and expects you to be able to transport it. Yeah, I, uh... I just grab it from, like, not using any kind of, like, hygiene. Mm-hmm. Or cool. etiquette. Mm-hmm. Just grab it off the table. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Throw it in the... <laughs> in that woman's chest. 
Yeah, I throw it in the chest. <laughs> it's still like bloodied and gross. He didn't really clean it off or anything, so. Yep. Sweet. Now we gotta go get some vegetables. <laughs> mhm. Mm okay. Go get some vegetables. Go to the market. Okay. There's no market. There is no. No. I mean, this is already a small place, and there's like way less people here than you would expect. Uh, do I see somebody walking around in the uh, <sighs> town? Sure. Like town square or something. Yeah. There's like a guard. Mm -hmm. I ask, uh, where? Where are all the uh, citizens of Daggerford gone to? Pebbleton. Sorry, right? Pebbleton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Well... Have you, uh, have you been through here before? Uh, got, once. Uh, got friends here? Uh, no. We just passed through a few times and... You know, it's been a while. But well... I feel like there are... Know, considerably more people. This small mm -hmm. account. There was. Uh, those of us who are here are here on orders of sh the Shield Wall military to uh, 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 repossess this land. Oh, really? As it was, uh, yeah, a while back, some sort of uh, some sort of force of hell came through here and massacred most of the, the folks here. Don't reckon I 